guys, it's me. <laughs> I'm doing a reading for you for the week beginning the 10th of March through to the 16th. I hope you guys have had a good week. We had our angel message last week. I liked it so much that I brought it back. My little um, angel deck from um, by Cheris Estelle. I think that's how you pronounce her name yeah so um yeah so i'm going to be using it again this week just to pull one card and see how it goes and i'm going to be using the paulina tarot um i hope you guys had a blessed week um the message that came up with the angels was all about you know um our heart chakra so i hope we're able to really connect and bond with people and get on well with people i've noticed recently um i've been meeting a lot of people in the most like random ways so um and and it's really weird i think the reason why um the heart chakra came up um how it applies to my life is that through meeting a lot of people there's so many people that i have been connecting with and um and i'm the kind of person you know whenever i meet new people um <laughs> i tend to hug people um like even when i had the the meetup um on my other channel on youtube and uh some subscribers came out like i tend to hug and um, when i when i greet people and so for me i've noticed i've been giving a lot of hugs to people recently because i've been meeting all these new people and it's been really nice you know and um and i've even been connecting with a lot of family members that i hadn't seen in so many years and they've been inviting me to like their birthday parties and different things so it seems that this month especially march is like such a busy month and hectic month for me but it's been a blessing as well because i've really got the chance to meet some really lovely people so yes that's enough about me we'll get into the reading i totally love the paulina tarot i love the fact the card stock in this deck is really what i love about the deck even though the artwork is amazing but i really love like the thickness of the cards um i wish that other tarot decks had this sort of thickness of card i just i really like it it's kind of stiff compared to quite a lot of the decks that i have and um which is good because then i know it will really last a long time and it's a bit um it's a bit of a tall deck compared to some of the others that i have as well i guess you know obviously that's because of the thickness of the card it's a bit taller than um average but i like that i really like that because then it it lets me know that this will be a deck that i'll be able to use for years and won't need to worry about it um getting like damaged or get getting wear and tear so yes i'm gonna shuffle up the cards and we'll kind of see what energies are going to be coming forth this week the week beginning the 10th through to the 16th Ooh, ooh! we have a card that jumped out so this would be the card for the beginning of the week is the hangman and as you can see this card is like it's really beautiful i love the artwork in this deck very whimsical looking um the hangman for me is all about um a change of perspective and i feel like the change of perspective comes from us um just looking at our lives in a really different way a lot of the time it, it can be an event that happens that really makes us really see life for what it is or it could just be especially now that um we're moving more into that into the spring and i know not everywhere in the world but um right now in the uk we're starting to get a lot of that spring weather you know the sun is out for longer and the weather is just getting a bit warmer than it was before and i think that alone can you know it, it kind of it changes your mood it makes you look at things in in a brighter way because i don't know spring has that feeling to it of renewal and of change and of sort of feeling refreshed and vibrant and and really looking at our lives in in a different way because now we've kind of moved out of sort of the darkness of winter now we're moving into sort of this transition of of a new season and so the same way you know the seasons change is the same way we can always change the way we look at our lives and ourselves and so the hangman for me is all about um it is about sort of surrendering and kind of um letting the universe and and god kind of take over in your life and put in your faith and your trust in in a higher power as well so 
um, this card could also be saying that if there's things going on in your life right now it's probably best not to be so forceful in trying to like make changes and being forceful in in um in uh in the things that you want to see uh, a different outcome um instead it's, it's better to kind of just let nature take its course and kind of just leaving things to a bigger power leaving things up to your your guides your angels and such and just kind of letting them take control of the situation in your life and even though it might be a bit frightening because you might be feeling like you know i'm not really doing anything i'm not really making things happen physically um but all because you're not actually what we see as being active in 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 certain areas of your life it doesn't mean that things can't change you know and it doesn't mean that the universe isn't there supporting you in the things that you're trying to do sometimes it's just best to kind of take a back seat and um and uh not try to bring things forward before they're really prepared to happen i think that's the best way to say it because sometimes we want something and we want it so eagerly and we want to just we want to just see it happen and, and come forth but sometimes it's just not the right time and it's best to just sort of let things happen um as they will it's not to say that you won't get it but it's just to say that you know maybe right now just isn't the right time and really and maybe right now isn't the time to um isn't the time to sort of um i don't know the word forceful always tends to come up i don't know why that is but yeah, it's not the right time to kind of just be forceful in trying to make things happen. Just kind of let things take its course. Okay, now we go for the middle card. Middle of the week, we have the Queen of Pentacles. This is quite a nice card. The Queen of Pentacles for me is kind of about... Um, it shows that there are going to be things that are going to be coming forward in your life. Probably to do with work probably to do with money and finance but again it's uh the queen of pentacles isn't like the king where the king is going to be more action orientated a queen is a bit more you know just like the way women are we're a bit more um uh passive <laughs> so you know in being passive Again, it doesn't mean that things aren't happening or that things won't come forward, but sometimes you just don't have to be so forceful. You don't have to make the huge effort. Things will happen. Things will take its course. So just sort of take your time with things. So if this is to do with money or finance, like things you really want to happen in a like in a material sense, know that things are definitely taking place, especially with the Pentacles card. Things are happening. You are getting somewhere. Things will materialize, but it's just not the time to to be so direct with it just kind of take a back seat and kind of just you know chill out a bit you know don't be so controlling just kind of chill out and see how things goes and then the last card is the moon maybe that's another reason why we have to kind of chill out a bit at the beginning of the week and be a bit more passive is that if there are some things dealing with money um, and finance, it could be saying that now is a good time to let your intuition guide you. It could be saying that you kind of have to take a back seat to feel the situation and see if it's the right situation for you. Because it could be saying that if you go straight into this situation really quickly, you might find that there's something about it that isn't quite right. There's something about it that isn't um clear right now and so it's saying you need to kind of take your time with this situation so if any opportunities do come up during the week i would say um uh, take some time out before agreeing to anything just make sure you have all the details and everything is clear to you and use your intuition as your guide to really see if this is something you really want to get um involved with so yes, take your time this week. Don't rush into anything. That's kind of what the cards are saying. And I'll pull one of the cards from my angel deck. Oh, the Paulina Tarot. I forgot to say who is by. Is by Paulina Cassidy. Um, and it's a really lovely deck. Love, love, love that deck. And so let's see what the angels have to say for this week. Okay, 
shuffle them up, shuffle them up, shuffle them up. And we'll go, it says angelic guidance. I think we got angelic guidance last time. <laughs> um, well, at the back. Sometimes the back of these cards, some of them are similar. Um, but the this side is always different. But it says, um, don't be afraid of the dark. It is only the light casting shadows. Ooh, isn't that interesting scene as you got the moon card it says it has been said that the brighter we shine the more shadow we cast sometimes these are the shadows within ourselves those darker areas that we may not want to know about becoming spiritually aware means facing those inner demons confronting them with gratitude dealing with them and moving on if we wish to commit to change then we have help readily available yes we do sit quietly and as you relax with your eyes closed breathe deeply and let go of any tension in your body with each exhalation invite your angel to stand by your side imagine a blank screen in front of you ask the angel to show you aspects of yourself that need work and watch the scene you may see a full image rather like a dream or simple object you may hear music or words or experience a certain feeling so this card is really interesting because it's talking more about our shadow selves and about doing work on our shadow selves and that is really really a, an amazing thing because that is something we all have to be really careful of we have to be we have to be able to feel our bodies and really know what is really going on within ourselves and so it's kind of interesting that in the cards it was sort of to me there was this message of being passive and kind of taking your time and using your intuition and it seems that this week is really a time about going within ourselves it's not a time of really making things happen on the outside and forcing things to happen in our lives it's about ourselves and spending time with ourselves and really being able to see um, what is it in our lives that needs changing or what is it in ourselves that needs changing um, and and you know because sometimes we get caught, caught up so much with external things in life and we don't take any time out to really say you know what is it that I need to work on personally um, you know what is it that I need to kind of address um, within myself like it within myself because like it says it says about facing your inner demons and that is hard to do sometimes it's hard to do shadow work um, because a lot of the time we don't want to face the negative we don't want to face the bad things that we even see we come out of ourselves and um, a lot of the time we're very in denial about these things but the thing is is that the thing that you resist the most the thing that you're most in denial about is always going to be the thing that is going to show up the most because of the fact that you're showing a resistance to it but if you embrace even the negative or so-called negative side of yourself I don't like to use the word negative but um, but if you try to because really nothing is really negative but it's all about the way you look at things basically but if you try to work on the sides of yourself that you may that you know needs improving it's a wonderful thing because something that may be in your life that is holding you prisoner um, it will you, you will feel sort of liberated and free once you're able to kind of address those issues and to be able to move forward and you just find that when you're able to move forward you look at life in a really different way and you will also and it, it will change so many as other aspects of your life um, things that you didn't even expect to change will change um, just from doing the shadow work within yourself so yeah this is a really great card and I think because I'm really enjoying this angel deck I think every week I'm gonna pull a card um, from this deck because yeah I'm totally loving it <laughs> even though I've had it quite a while actually but I'm really enjoying it these uh, recently um, these past few days so Yes, I'll see you guys. I hope you have a wonderful week.